Zechariahu, Zechariah 14. Behold, the day of Yahuwah comes, and your spoil shall be divided in the midst of you. For I will gather all nations against Yerushalayim to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall Yahuwah go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Yerushalayim on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the Negev, and ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains. For the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Atzel, rather Atzel, yea, ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uziyahu, rather Uziyahu, king of Yahudah, and Yahuwah Elohai shall come, and all the Kodeshim with you. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark, but it shall be one day which shall be known to Yahuwah, not day nor night, but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light, and it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Yerushalayim, half of them toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea. In summer and in winter, shall it be. And Yahuwah shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Yahuwah and his name one. All the land shall be turned as a plain from Giva to Rimon, south of Yerushalayim, and it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place. From Binyamin's gate unto the place of the first gate, unto the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel, unto the king's wine presses. And men shall dwell in it, and there shall be no more utter destruction, but Yerushalayim shall be safely inhabited. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahuwah will smite Eth all the people that have fought against Yerushalayim. Their flesh shall, cons shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from Yahuwah shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. And Yahuda also shall fight at Yerushalayim, and the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and apparel in great abundance. And so shall the plague of the horse, of the mule, of the camel, and of the ass, and of all the beasts that shall be in these tents, as this plague. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Yerushalayim shall even go up from year to year to worship the king. 
Yahuwah Sevaoth, and to keep at the feast of Kukoth. And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Yerushalayim to worship the king, Yahuwah Sevaoth, even upon them shall be no rain. And if the family of the Mitzrayim go not up, and come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague, wherewith Yahuwah will smite eth the heathen that come not up, to keep eth the feast of Kukoth. This shall be the punishment of Mitzrayim, and the punishment of all nations that come not up, to keep eth the feast of Kukoth. In that day shall there be upon the bells of the horses holiness unto Yahuwah, and the pots in Yahuwah's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. Yea, every pot in Yerushalayim and in Yahudah shall be holiness unto Yahuwah Sevaoth, and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seethe therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Kena'ani in the house of Yahuwah Savaoth.